A 180-meter-tall dam is rising on the Tibetan Plateau, and no human is building it. China is creating the world's largest 3D-printed structure using artificial intelligence and an army of unmanned machines. Bulldozers, trucks, pavers, and rollers work together without rest, following a digital blueprint sliced into layers. Controlled by a central AI system, this robotic fleet is constructing the Yangqiu hydropower plant entirely without workers on site. Once completed, the dam will produce 5 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year, enough to power the lives of 100 million people. If it succeeds, it won't just become the world's tallest 3D printed structure. It might also mark the beginning of a new era in how the world is built. How does a machine even build something this massive? And what's really driving this futuristic leap? To understand this robotic revolution, we have to go back to one of the most remote and extreme places on Earth, the Tibetan Plateau. What makes this place so tough? The air is thin, the weather changes fast, and the land is full of steep hills and sharp rocks. It may seem like the last place to build something big, but it's also where some of China's most important rivers begin, including the Yellow River. In 2010, deep in Xinghai County in Qinghai Province, China started building the original Yangqiu Dam. At first, it looked like a normal project. By 2016, the dam was up and running, producing 1,200 megawatts of power. That's enough to light up millions of homes. But China wasn't done. As the country's need for energy grew and climate rules got stricter, leaders asked a big question. How can we build faster, smarter, and cleaner? The answer? Let the machines do it. Instead of sending hundreds of workers into the cold and rocky mountains, scientists at Tsinghua University had a new idea. Why not let robots and computers do all the work? No workers, no foremen, just smart machines talking to each other and building the dam on their own. But why go this route? It wasn't just about saving time or money. China has a shrinking workforce, building costs are rising, and the world is watching how China handles its impact on the planet. Making the building process fully automatic could fix all of these problems at once. And that's how we got to this point. Today, high in the mountains, a 180 meter high concrete face rock fill dam is rising. Built not by people, but by machines working together like a team. But this isn't the kind of 3D printing most people imagine. There are no large printer arms, no concrete nozzles. Instead, there's a new method, an additive process that turns the entire dam site into one giant assembly line. Why take this route? Because human hands can make mistakes. Machines don't get tired, and AI doesn't lose focus. In theory, it's faster, more precise, and safer. So how do you even begin to build something this advanced, with almost no people on site? The scale of the operation is staggering. Picture an army of unmanned trucks rumbling across the plateau, loaded with construction materials. But here's the twist. They don't have drivers. These trucks move in perfect sync, not because someone's behind the wheel, but because they're all guided by a central AI system. What happens when they arrive? That's when the real magic starts. A team of robotic bulldozers, pavers, and rollers jumps into action. These machines don't guess or make mistakes. They follow a digital 3D model, one that's been carefully sliced into layers by an AI-powered scheduling system. Every move is planned, every layer is mapped out. Each slice of the model tells the robots exactly how much material to use, where to place it, and how to pack it down. The AI even designs temporary roads on the construction site, just to make deliveries faster and easier. But how do they know the job is done right? That's where the sensors come in. After the material is placed and compacted, 
Special sensors inside the rollers measure how tight and strong each layer is. Then they send that data straight back to the AI. It's like getting a progress report after every single move. It's a cycle, pick up, place, pack, report, then do it all again. Layer by layer, the machines keep working, turning a rugged mountain valley into a massive megastructure with amazing accuracy. When it's finished, the structure will stand 180 meters tall, just a bit shorter than the Hoover Dam, and it'll produce 5 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year. That's enough to power the lives of over 100 million people in Henan province. But here's what really sets it apart. There are no workers out in the field. None. Except for the mining of raw materials, which is still done by hand, everything else is fully automated. The digging, the building, the rolling, it's all handled by robots and AI. This new approach is more than efficient, it's a game changer. Most 3D printing methods use giant printer heads to shape buildings layer by layer. But at the Yang Qiu Dam, there's no giant printer. Instead, the entire construction site works like one big printer. All the machines, trucks, bulldozers, rollers, work together like parts of a printing system. Step by step, they build the dam from the ground up. It's what researchers call additive manufacturing, and the Yang Qiu project might be the boldest example of it yet. But is high-tech always the right answer? The Tibetan Plateau is one of the most fragile environments on the planet. It has ancient glaciers, frozen ground called permafrost, and rivers that give water to millions across Asia. Scientists say the area is unstable. Earthquakes, landslides, and melting permafrost could all damage the dam. Still, China isn't slowing down. Environmental groups have raised red flags. A report by Tibet Watch and other researchers showed serious problems. Families have been forced to move. Old monasteries were removed from protection lists and torn down for the project. In some cases, people even had to take apart their own homes. But the concerns don't stop there. Factory farms connected to the dam have brought in non-native trout. These fish are changing the balance of Tibetan rivers and hurting the local wildlife. Critics say this isn't just about one area. When you block rivers at the top of the world, the effects don't stay in Tibet. They stretch downstream into India, Myanmar, and Vietnam, where people rely on these rivers for food, farming, and clean water. And there's more to worry about. What lies beneath the dam is becoming a bigger problem. The ground here is made of permafrost, frozen earth that's starting to melt. As it thaws, it releases methane, a gas that traps heat in the atmosphere. That's bad for the planet. And when you build something heavy on soft, melting ground, cracks, leaks, and serious damage can follow. Even as AI helps remove human error during construction, some experts ask a tough question. What if this whole project is one big mistake? And then there's the human cost. AI doesn't need a lunch break. It doesn't ask for a paycheck. Sounds like a win, right? But when machines take over jobs, who gets left behind? China is facing a big problem. Fewer people are being born and the number of workers is going down. On paper, robots seem like a smart fix, but in real life, they might push some workers out of the system, making life harder for those already struggling. Still, the government is moving forward. Lead scientist Lu Tianyun says he wants to free people from repetitive and dangerous work. His dream? Fully automated projects, roads, dams, maybe even entire smart cities. If this dam works, it could change everything. And it could happen sooner than you think. In some Chinese cities, 3D printed buildings are already a reality. A concrete bookstore, a folding bridge, even walkways that open and close like paper fans. Yang Q might just be the first step in a whole new way of building. What do you think?
Is this the future of construction or a risky experiment? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.